a very good morning to Ms. Noradin. Uh, today, me and my group will present MPU Green Future regarding uh, the topic of our plan about Green Future. So, my name is Rong Hao. Hi, I'm Hui Li. I'm Hui Yi. Hi, I'm Yong Xing. Hi, I'm Sao Xun. Hi, my name is Shara and I'm Angeline. So, I'm going to talk about sustainable transportation. The concept of sustainable transportation promotes a balance in transportation, economic and social benefits and the need to protect the environment. Sustainable transportation is one that allows individuals and societies to meet their access needs safely and in a manner consistent with human and ecosystem health and equity within and between generations. So these are the goals uh, of sustainable transportation. First, a transportation system that is dynamically integrated with land use. Second, a transportation system that supports active, accessible and healthy lifestyle options. Third, a safer, efficient and equitable transportation system for people, goods and services. Next, transportation infrastructure that is well maintained. And last, a transportation system that is financially sustainable. I'm going to talk about the advantages of sustainable transportation. First is health benefit. Tra public transportation could re reduce the air polluting compared with auto private transportation and it, it could keep the air cleaner and lower the carbon emissions. Second is economic saving. Economic saving compared to uh, average car cost per month including the purchase price and depreciation, sustainable models could usually cheaper. Next is time saving and flexibility. True, if people could use shortcuts by cycling and walking which could save the time. Who benefit from it? For people, through imposing the sustainable transformation, mm -hmm. people could maintain their health and reduce the chance of getting sick by walking or cycling. Next is society. Sustainable transportation could enhance the relationship between people and increase the interaction between them. Lastly is for country. Sustainable transportation could provide more job opportunity and decrease the unemployment rate of country which could enhance the economy's performance. So what is the Malaysian policy for sustainable transportation? First, uh, national biofuel policy. and also draft biofuel policy to be proposed to parliament by first quarter of 2006. So these are some policy strategies uh, conducted by government. Producing biodiesel full blend of 55% processes palm oil with 95% petroleum diesel. Also, government encourage the utilization of biofuel among the public. So, setting up a palm oil biodiesel uh, plants identical schedule for commercials introduct. So, uh, according to my research, there are one policy uh, related to green flagship plan, which is electric mobility flagship. Green Team Malaysia has embarked on several engagements with stakeholders and the public to create greater awareness on the feasibility of electric vehicles for public. And also, in support of the increasing shift to EVs, Green Team Malaysia launched its very own charging station network, Charge EV, in 2016 to provide EV users greater charging convenience. I'm going to talk about the outcome of sustainable transportation. Firstly, is the impact on population health. After imposing sustainable transportation planning, the population health can be improved by reducing road death and accidents in Malaysia. Therefore, sustainable transportation can improve population health through individual transportation choices. Choices. For example, using active moves instead of a car, population health also includes preventing diseases, prolonging life, promoting health equity, as well as physical, mental, and social well-being. Sustainable transportation by increasing the public transport can reduce the, the air pollution because public transportation system is green. Therefore, public transport can reduce the amount of car on the road and also the gases that are released by the motor vehicles. Secondly, compared to average car cost per month, including the purchase price and depreciation, all of the more sustainable moves are usually cheaper. For example, the road tax could go up, the cost of petrol should be allowed to rise, higher charges should be imposed for parking, tolls should be charged for entering urban centres by using the sustainable transportation. Citizens can decrease their expenses as they can save their money in bank. We will talk 
about the sustainable resources recycling. So recycling is a process of transforming waste and used product into a new useful material or product. This can reduce raw materials to being used from scratch. So recycling can be raised of um, personal and environmental issue, including the benefit of reducing, reusing, and recycling of materials. Now, Japan is one of the most successful country in recycling. Therefore, it is stated that it is the most cleanest country in the world. So, these are the goals for sustainable, sustainable resources recycling. The first one is conserving natural resources. Next, protecting the, envir the environment. Next, reducing landfill, saving energy, encouraging the use of greener technologies, creating jobs, saves money, and bring different communities together. So the last benefit is it creates jobs. Companies will hire people to collect, separate, and transport the recycled items. So for example, scientists and designers are hired to come up with innovative ways to use recycled products. So the next one is stimulate the use of green technologies. So green technologies help to manage recycled waste management. And this technology is used for waste management, waste incineration, and more. So there is an increase in the use of renewable energies such as wind, hydro, solar, and so on. So the next one is saves money. So recycling can help us to save money or generate money because companies pay cash for our trash and the trash is used to make a new product. Uh, besides, recycled uh, products that is used can be transferred into secondhand items and sold out to generate income. So who actually benefits from recycling? So the first one is business units. So business units can get funds, subsidies from government if they conduct recycling programs. So besides, they also can improve their brand image because uh, it strength, recycling strengthens their business reputation and more. So the second one is the society. So recycling can reduce all environmental problems and prevent us from suffering from pollution. So as a result, we can maintain a healthier body and a greener future. So the last one is the country. Recycling creates jobs and it can boost economic growth of the country. So as a result, it can improve the standard of living of the citizens and also improve the country's image. So uh, the Malaysian policies of sustainable resources as seen recycling is Green Procurement Flagship. So Green Tech Malaysia has actually initiated the government green procedure program in 2000, uh, 2013 as the public sector represents about 50% of Malaysian GDP. So to date, uh, Green Tech Malaysia has extended the program to uh, 12 ministers and the agency with the target have all ministers participate in the program by 2017, collectively achieving 20% of green procedure by 2020. So one of the outcome of sustainable resources for recycling is fuel greenhouse gas emission. Greenhouse gas emissions such as carbon dioxide are thought to be a significant contributing factor to global warming. And the second point is less waste. Going green encourages people to reduce their consumption, recycle as often as possible and reuse items in an effort to reduce waste. Third point is wildlife preservation. Going green also helps to preserve the habitats of certain species of all animals. Going green also reduces the threat to marine wildlife that dies each year as a result of encountering pollutants or trash in the water supply. So in conclusion, I hope that both of our plans will actually pro uh, bring benefit to Malaysia's green future development. Therefore, I hope that humanity will slowly start to reshaping our broken earth. Resources are limited in our days. So, take action. Every small contribution leads to a success. You also can make a difference. Bye.